Regardless of the type of bow brand you have, a lot of the bows now have these string suppressors. They all have a different name, but essentially what it's doing is it's eliminating that residual vibration of the string so that it's really not having any type of buzz or continuous vibration. It's literally stopping that and stopping the vibration dead. Okay, it's just like having a guitar string that's buzzing and ringing out, and if you touch it, it stops. However, if this is not adjusted properly, you can sometimes have more sound if it's kind of chiming off of it, or if it's adjusted the opposite direction where it has too much pressure on it, and the string actually is hitting this first, as the string's going forward, if it hits it first and then gets, has to go bend around it, then your knock point actually drives down as this is getting bent. So you can see as this would hit too early and it starts to come forward, it'll start to drive that down and it can affect your tune. So here's how I adjust mine to know that that tension's correct. Honestly, the easiest way is if you loosen that, so that you're able to make this adjustment. Like in this case, if I take it all the way down, you can see there's a slight gap there. And in a lot of cases, that's gonna make that vibration a little bit more. If it's too tight like this, then in that case, again, as that string hits that, it's gonna drive that knock down and it's gonna give you some tuning issues. Now this is important because if you have a bow and this is set up perfectly out of a box and then you decide to back your limbs out, well, as you back your limbs out, the string will actually come back a little bit more as that flex is being reduced. So your brace height will kind of increase and that'll all of a sudden give you a separation there. So you might have to make that adjustment. So if you've made any type of tiller bolt adjustment, then that could easily need to get changed. Or if you've changed out your strings and cables and everything wasn't twisted up the way it was previously and your axle to axle length slightly changes, then the pressure on this can change too. So what I do is I will loosen this, I will center it, and then I'll turn it upside down. And I normally just tap this bow so that this falls down on there and it's barely touching. And then once it's barely touching like that and it's centered, then I will tighten up that screw that holds it in place. Move that a little bit more right there. Tighten that down. And now you have the perfect position where it's gonna hold the string just enough to deaden any of that vibration. It's not going to cause a negative effect and, and redirect your knock travel as it's going forward. And it's also going to at least serve the purpose of what it's meant to do, and that's dead in the string. If you have it too far forward, then it's just not even going to help you at all. And you can certainly have more noise out of the bow. But that's how easy it is to adjust your string stop so that it has the perfect tension to give you the best aeroflight.